when we built the tower uh, many years ago, we were trying to get into the offshore business. Basically, that was uh, the driver behind uh, building the tower. So we invited a lot of customers and they saw what we, we did and they saw that we have invested a lot of money in, in the tower in order to, to prove that we are serious in the offshore business. Some years after, they came back and said, we have seen this uh, very important investment in, uh, in your facility and believe that you are technically capable of delivering what we expect uh, within the offshore business. normal uh, tanker and uh, in a normal uh, uh, offshore uh, platform, you cannot get into the tank and see how things are working. So basically here we are simulating the situation as it is in, in real life. From the customers where we have made the contracts, uh, they see this as a very good opportunity to actually see that we, uh, we can deliver uh, what we have uh, agreed. We can prove that it is uh, working according to specification. These pumps can be up to 40 meters long, so it is a clear advantage that we are able to demonstrate the robustness uh, of the design of our pumps. We take it into the test tower, so here the customer can come to us and we can demonstrate the very low vibration levels that uh, they will encounter with our products. We have made here at Vettel Svanhoi recent development of LNG fuel pumps, but it is the knowledge of 40 years of making cryogenic pumps that actually made us make the LNG pump. And we have used the, the slogan saying same, same, but smaller, because the pumps we're actually using for discharging of vessels are quite large compared to the fuel pump. As we have made pumps for cryogenic liquids for many years, we developed a small pump to suit the gas consumption of the main engines. So with our new pump, we can feed the main engines with LNG and thereby doing the environmental sound fuel for the future.